Growing up in small town Wyoming, we never really did vacations. We honestly didn't have a lot of money growing up, and for me, the West Coast was, was everything. The chopper scene, the hot rod scene. Ended up meeting my wife, Sarah, and Sarah was working for a chiropractic office, and they wanted to send her out for a training in California. We landed in uh, John Wayne's airport, and uh, as we get off the plane, it was that instant smell, that feel of the warm sun, and I haven't felt sun like that before. And I mean, I was just all smiles, all giggles. I was just getting on these buses and going out and exploring California, and it was unbelievable. I mean, the first time I saw a palm tree, like I, I flipped out, have all these pictures by it and stuff. I'll, I'll never forget, for the first time, putting my toes in the sand walking out to the ocean, the feel of the ocean, the smell of it, and getting in it, it was just like transformational. It fed me full of something that I've never had before for this creative side of me that I've always tried to push, this feeling of like absolute freedom. When Mike called and wanted uh, me to do Born Free 12, I haven't done it in a while, so I was really excited. And so me and my wife were talking, and she's like, oh, you should do something different. You know, you should do this, this more bling thing. And one of the biggest things for me is being able to ride motorcycles in Florida, ride in California, that feeling, that excitement that I always got from it. I wanted to try to create that. And that magical thing when you look out onto the ocean and the sun setting and all the oceans going off like diamonds, I wanted that bike to feel like that when the sun hit it. So I was like, all right, we've got to do something with a lot of chrome, you know, a lot of bling, and paint a bike. I haven't painted a bike in like seven years. A lot of people don't know this, but my wife, Sarah, helped quite a bit in the building process on that. She helped a lot on the frame, you know, twisting the down tubes. We uh, had to do the back half on it. There was a lot of fixing and modification, cutting all the, the, the brackets and all the gussets and stuff for the oil tank and the gas tank. So it was a really cool time. We had a lot of fun. We started getting the fabrication done on the bike and it really started coming together. And a lot of my inspiration I kept trying to pull of what would it look like to have this little bobber coming down on the west coast, you know, or, or what does that look like, you know, down where we're in Florida, in Miami, to be able to have that, what it represents. How does that match the beach and the ocean? Sarah came up with the seafoam green color that we did. We went down to PVG and we just like started mixing colors and pearls and suddenly it was like, that, that's, that's the color. That's the color of what I feel like you know, beach and ocean life is. And so when the bike got done and the first time we pulled it out into the sun, it was amazing to see the sun hit the bike and all that chrome and paint start dancing. And it just took me back to that first time in Cali when the sun was setting and that ocean was just lit up like diamonds on that white beach, the blue waters. It was a special moment, you know, with me, the bike, what I experienced in life, uh, doing it with my wife and then, you know, I always wanted to end up on a coast. I didn't necessarily think maybe I'd end up on the East Coast, but when you start building these bikes, you always think once again, you know, where does this come from? What's the inspiration? But you know, you got to name them. And I honestly, I'm just like, I'm the worst at it. I think my wife's pretty much named all my bikes except the King Nothing Bobber. And so when we we're getting the tank on, I was like, ah, what should we call this? Like the Beach Ripper, all this stuff. And it was horrible. And Sarah, she looks over and she's like, man, I don't know, it just feels like Malibu. I'm like, oh, I, yeah, I like that. Like that, that was the vibe I was trying to go for. And then she just looks at me and she's like, I think it's Malibu honey. And it was, it, it, was, it was absolutely perfect. It embodied Malibu, that sweet taste, the ocean, once again, the color of the bike, the chrome, the water. And it, it just, it was kind of one of those amazing moments where we looked at each other and was just like, yeah, it's, it's Malibu honey. There was some amazing times in Florida Looking over, the palm trees are coming by you. You can feel that humidity, you can feel that heat, and you can take in that ocean, you can smell it. And it feels like, you know, that day we were riding right next to it. And it's just a part of you. You know, the sand blows out past the concrete into the road, so your bike's a little sandy, you're a little bit sandy. Like, I don't care how stressed you are, what's going on in your life, it's just this peace and tranquility that you get of just taking in the beach, the vibes, the, the, the heat, and the bike at the same time, and it always stuck with me. And still to this day, those are some of the most you know, powerful moments I've had riding, and I've rode all over, and I've had a bunch of crazy experiences too, but those are probably some of the most beautiful moments I've had.